Hello, it's Dr. Kim Dramo. I wanted to come in quick to share this piece about trusting ourselves, listening to our inner yes, which is such a huge piece to our awakening and to creating a life that is filled with abundance beyond our wildest dreams. And it's something so many of us are afraid to do. We're afraid. And so basically someone just um, sent me a message and said, I felt into your retreat invitation and this event you're having with women and it was such a yes and I'm so inspired but every time I go to register I go into doubt and hesitation and the reason is because of all the times in the past when I followed my inspiration and it didn't go the way I thought it was going to go and I was disappointed or someone let me down or I didn't get what I thought I was going to get or um, what she said was it didn't work out. It was the wrong decision and what I shared with her is it is never ever the wrong decision especially if we refuse to make ourselves wrong. But we as women have been so, so trained to make ourselves wrong and then to have all these expectations for what's supposed to happen and then that didn't happen and so therefore it was the wrong decision and I can't trust myself. And this is the one of the biggest things that I see keep women so shut down shut down from our own wisdom and shut down from our own turn on being alive being inspired being unapologetically in our yes and we cannot live like that like even if you just go to the head and try really really hard and suppress everything inside you you will eventually like get burnt out come down with an autoimmune disease chronic fatigue brain fog like name it your body will shut down physically. So for the people that I've worked with as a doctor who are experiencing severe chronic illness or chronic pain or chronic fatigue, this is the place I look to first. Are you letting yourself be ignited, be turned on, say yes to your yes? And when I wrote the Mind Body Toolkit, that was one of the tools I put in there was say yes to your yes and live beyond conclusion and live beyond the mind and what it says is supposed to happen as a result, like, oh, I'm gonna say yes to this thing and then therefore this should happen. No, I say yes to my yes to let myself be alive, to let myself be fully alive in all ways and follow my inspiration and it will always create more. So what I shared with this person was A, stop making it wrong, which everyone will get on board with you if you want to make yourself wrong. Stop making it wrong that you chose this thing and it didn't go the way you thought it was going to go and actually receive what you chose and what happened as a result, what happened from that choice, whether it was something you thought was good, you, something you thought was bad, something you wanted, something that was unwanted, it will always bring greater clarity. So if you choose, oh, should I call that guy back or should I go on that date or should I take that job or should I use that supplement or fill in the blank, and then you're willing to say what's right about this, you always make yourself right and you'll always learn grow, get more clarity, get more inspiration, get more guidance, and have more, not less, awareness of who you are. Can you receive all of it unconditionally? Will you let yourself be that big of a receiver? Because your willingness to open and receive is what ignites your body. And it's also what it invites in more abundance. And then the second thing I said to her was, the space that you're in right now is a result of all the past choices you've made, all the things you've maybe tried that didn't go the way you wanted or didn't have what you expected, but here you are now with greater clarity, with greater inspiration. And if something is clicking for you now, right here, today, be willing to move in that direction. Whether it's like for this woman, it was coming to my women's retreat in May, uh, but it doesn't matter. It could be it could be eating a piece of chocolate cake. like. Anything that you want to actually get clear, what is my inspiration and what is my desperation masquerading as my inspiration, which is all about just I want to avoid what I feel. So I'm going to eat this chocolate cake so I don't feel the sadness and grief I have inside. I'm going to eat this chocolate cake so I don't really feel the worthlessness that's coming up for me right now. It's totally different, right? Inspiration is I love myself implicitly. And in this space of self-acceptance, 
I'm still inspired to go in that direction. I'm gonna eat this chocolate cake. Let yourself have it <laughs> because there's so many things we make ourselves wrong for. So you want to get clear. Is this out of suppression and avoidance or is this out of self-love and inspiration? One thing you can do is just a little EFT tapping, gently tapping on some of the tapping points. I did a really great um, Facebook Live and Mind Body TV last week using EFT tapping as a tool to open up your energy centers and clear old energies. Um, and I'll also share the invitation right now. The Tapping Summit is going to be live on, I think today, tonight it starts. So I'm going to share the link for that if you want to join for the EFT Meridian Tapping. It's one of the um, my favorite events of the year, so I'll share the link for that. Um, but to get yourself clear before making a choice, Take a few deep breaths, tap on a couple meridian points. Body, I love you. It's okay to feel what you're feeling. Breathe in and breathe out. Feel what you feel more instead of trying to feel it less. Let it come up, tap your way through, breathe your way through, presence it, and then that energy can move. When you say yes to your yes, you're letting energy move. When you make yourself wrong, you're doing the exact opposite. You're like stuffing it and suppressing it and oh, I don't wanna do that again. And so you let, you're not letting yourself be fully alive. You're like less fully alive because of that suppression. So I am at drkimd.com. For those of you who'd like more, the retreat is at drkimd.com forward slash retreat. It is a really powerful opening for women to kind of like stop looking outside ourselves for the answer. Is it this? Is it that? Maybe if I do this thing, maybe this person knows what to do versus this is going to point you into the gold that is already within you. And guess what? It's in all those spaces that you were taught to never look. It's in all those spaces that we were taught to avoid at all costs and shut down and tighten up. That's where the juice is. Um, there's really no getting around this. So for those women who are ready to open and really uncover the divinity in you, um, you can join me for that event. I will also um, definitely share the link for the Tapping Summit. That's a free event that's going on this week. C. Cargill says, oh my God, I've always expected failure and I seem to always be right. So I'm afraid to start anything new that I'm inspired to do. So what's right about this you're not getting is you will always be right with what you expect, with what you intend, with what you open to receive. You will always, always be right. And that's like the magic of you, not the wrongness. Are you willing to receive more? So you'd have to make right all these past experiences that maybe you thought were wrong in order to actually receive this. Like, oh, I always receive what I expect. What's possible now? And move into a new relationship with that. Uh, I wanna see if there's any other. <laughs> so it's not failure, it's, it's just a stepping stone. Yeah, choice will always create more clarity. And if you're letting yourself be free, I'm free to be fully alive and make these choices and stumble around and figure it out, I'm even, I'm enjoying the ride as I'm moving into greater abundance. But if I'm like, oh God, no, I don't wanna make a mistake. I don't wanna make a mistake, I gotta get it right. You're not in freedom. You're in a big fat hesitation, <laughs> in doubt. And it's always gonna create because you're always gonna be right. It's always gonna create what you're expecting. <laughs> so life will just be one big reflection of the wrongness of you. So celebrate that. Hey, great, life's always gonna reflect the space that I'm in, what if I get totally on board for myself? I celebrate myself implicitly. I love, honor, and cherish myself unconditionally. What's possible now? <laughs> so share with me what comes up. I know a lot of you are listening to the, um, to the recording. So, and I'll share this in the uh, Mind Body community as well on Facebook. That's where I spend most of my time, but I'm over here on Instagram just to say hi. <laughs> okay, someone said, I started an EFT practice and I wasn't getting clients, so I quit because I was told to let it go. Told by your wisdom or told by some person who thought it wasn't a good idea? Um, one of the things that I do, especially with EFT, is always use it as a way 
to love myself and nurture myself more fully. It is never really going to work for the long term as a way to suppress my symptoms, make change, get more, make something different, be better, because then that's all about like not being where I am and wanting to be somewhere else. I gotta get to this better place, I gotta make this thing go away, I gotta change this. So what if instead, I use it to be more fully where I am, more love where I am, more freedom and allowance of exactly where I am. That will always create an expansion. And that's one of the things I've seen with health, uh, whether it's reversing thyroid disease, adrenal fatigue, um, and chronic fatigue syndrome, brain fog, um, cancer, bowel problems, like fill in the blank, headaches, pain, um, when I've assisted people from a space of loving and honoring themselves more fully, going deeper into those spaces versus using this mind-body medicine to make things different. It's a completely different game. So one will let you be fully alive immediately, and of course that allows cellular change, physical change, financial change, relationships, definitely things change. <clears throat> But when your focus is on the change, I gotta make this different, it's a completely um, different thing. So see what, what your wisdom has for you. And, and, and one of the most powerful questions is always, what's right about this I'm not getting? And what else is possible? If you're willing to live in that frequency, the frequency of the question, it's not about answering the question, being in the curiosity it will always create expansion. And in fact, that's what I'm gonna talk about tomorrow in the episode of Mind Body TV is about how curiosity creates expansion. So many of us are trying to be like mindful, but we're trying to like control and suppress and that's not gonna create abundance. So if you'd like to join me tomorrow at 11 a.m. every week, I'm live in the Mind Body community on Facebook um, and you can join me in there, it's a free community. 11 a.m. Mountain Time. Um, and if you have other questions and comments, share them and I will run through and check in. I need to fix myself first before helping clients. That's another big um, erroneous thing a lot of us have. Like I've gotta already have arrived or I have nothing to offer. I've gotta already be in this other destination or I'm worthless and I can't really be of value to others. And you're never gonna get there, so you might as well let yourself offer what you do have, the insight that you do have, and the wisdom that you do have, if you're truly inspired. Sacred Rose says, hey Kim, it's Carly. I just had a major releasing of old shame and rejection energy. And all of a sudden, some symptoms that were gone came rising back up strong. I realized I was recalibrating, and then they completely disappeared. Oh, this is awesome. This is one of my favorite things in medicine when you look at healing is how things will come up as the energy is moving out. But if you go to a conventional doctor who isn't aware of that, they're like, whoa, your symptoms are worsening. You're clearly moving in the wrong direction. So then it's like, suppress, suppress, suppress. We gotta suppress this at all costs. That is not what how the body works, ever. And when we make ourselves wrong, which it's so easy to do, now it's like, well, I just gotta suppress this for the rest of my life because I have X condition and therefore um, it's gonna be out of control. And then they just live their life suppressed and things get worse and worse and worse. So what's right about this I'm not getting is what Carly just shared, like, oh, maybe this is all energy coming up so it can move out. It's a release with the new alignment I'm in, which is very often what happens as we um, begin to awaken. And even one of the things with EFT tapping, you'll do some tapping and then things come up that you're like, oh no, this, this, I thought I'd already dealt with this. But it's actually those next layers that wanna be released. So see if you're willing to just give it more space, not less, and let the energy keep moving because I, I will definitely tell you that that's what's happening. It's always what's happening. You're not broken and you have access to health and self-healing just like the rest of us. So keep moving through that. I'm at drkimd.com. I would love to connect with you more fully. And I do have a powerful <clears throat> event and course for women coming up in April called Alive Woman that goes much, much deeper into these principles. If you would like to join me for that in Phoenix, it's at drkimd.com forward slash retreat. 
But for everyone here who's not already connected with what I'm doing, you can subscribe at drkimd.com and or join me live on Wednesdays at 11 a.m. Mountain in the Mind Body community on Facebook. And I look forward to connecting more fully in the future and assisting your awakening. <laughs> Lots of love. I'll see you soon.